We've kind of said goodbye to that cooler feel across the bi-state. Hello to summertime weather. With that comes more concerns about our air quality. Meteorologist Jamie Travers is on the Lakeside Renovation and Design Weather Deck with more on the impacts. Jamie? Yes, well, Glenn, today's bad air quality was due to high ozone content in the ground air as well as a lot of pol other pollutants and allergens in the air. And the people most at risk on days like today are people with pre-existing lung conditions. Today's bad air quality is due to high oh concentrations God. of ozone in the air, as well as a lot of pollutants and other allergens in the air. Days like today are the most unhealthy for people with lung conditions. Mostly the patients are our pre-existing patients that already have lung problems are just feeling a lot more symptoms, a lot more coughing, a lot more wheezing, a lot more breathlessness. And um, so we're getting lots of calls about that. Okay. Dr. Super Shiraz Super Dowd, a pulmonologist at Missouri Baptist Medical Center, says if the air quality is affecting you, try to stay inside and use an air filter. If you have to be outside, there are things to consider. Sometimes a mask can be helpful. I'm trying to stay away from things that are really bad for the lungs, such as um, exhaust from cars, cigarette smoke, um, very polluted areas, grass, weeds, molds. Um, those things just make it worse in this bad time. Persistent exposure over time to bad air quality can pose serious health concerns. Steve Hall, the director of the Air Pollution Control Program with the Department of Natural Resources, says they put out a daily air quality index report as a tool for the public. If folks are sensitive to um, air pollution in, in elevated concentrations, that that tool is there for folks to look at and make decisions about activities they want to do that afternoon or, or that day. You'll notice fluctuations in the pollutant numbers site to site, which depends largely on meteorological conditions such as wind direction, as well as precursor emissions with respect to ozone formation. So on days where we have an easterly wind, we could expect Maryland Heights, which is west of the city, to have a higher ozone concentration because of the wind coming from the urban area. Also on the air quality index report, you will notice a critical area listed at the bottom, and that is the site yielding the highest air quality index that day. Reporting in St. Louis County, meteorologist Jamie Travers, Fox 2 News.